Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about the cavitation that occurs when water is flowing in a pipe with a valve inserted. So now you can see here uh, the valve is in an open condition uh, where it allows all the water to just flow through the pipe. But when the valve is set to close condition, so when it is rotating about its uh, respective y axis, so there is every chance that the formation of vapor can occur due to the sudden pressure drop and that due to that pressure drop uh, vapor uh, would form as the point where the saturation vapor condition would be reached. So now you can see on the topmost point uh, where the saturation vapor pressure, how it vary with respect to temperature. So this profile we need to insert in the vapor uh, tab section, right? So, and uh, outlet, uh, sorry, uh, wall temperature here, it has been given as uh, 320 Kelvin. So now we'll just uh, go through the fluent setup file and uh, we'll check how exactly we need to give the conditions in the setup so going to the general settings so it is nothing but a transient uh, setup what i have given and uh, minus 9.81 is my gravity in the down direction right and in the morals uh, first we need to activate the multi-phase with the mixture model and slip velocity and implicit body force selected with the dispersed phase so dispersed phase matla it's three so in the dispersed phase, there is every chance that one phase would be getting inside the other phase, right? And uh, energy would be on, and with the viscosity as a realizable k epsilon scalable wall function, I've activated. Then, then you need to go for materials, and in materials select fluid, and in that create edit go to fluent database so try to select water liquid and water vapor by just clicking and then click on copy close copy close right and now we are assigned the faces phase one as water liquid and phase two as water vapor and in the interaction uh, tab have just given the mass transfer and in that mechanism have given from phase one to phase two so water liquid to water vapor in the mechanism i have selected in the drop down list cavitation go to edit and i've selected the default model snare sour model you just can go through the fluent user manual how this um, model differentiate with respect to Jouart, uh, Gerber, Bellamary model and in the cavitation properties I have given the vapor pressure which vary with respect to temperature. So as presented in the previous slide you can use that temperature variation with respect to pressure and insert those eight points. Click on OK and activate disturbance factor and click on OK. So now you can uh, close the Turb, and then you need to go to boundary conditions and in the inlet so there is no water vapor it is only water liquid that is entering in so you can just go to the inlet tab the pressure is 149000 and obviously temperature is uh, 300 kelvin what i have given for the inlet condition and in the phase one and phase two for the phase two, I have selected zero as my volume fraction. So it means that no vapor is entering at the inlet. It is only liquid, water liquid that is entering in. And the outlet pressure, already mentioned it's 11,000 Pascal, what I have given. So it's 11,000 Pascal. Similarly, here also there is no water vapor uh, at the back flow condition. So I have given only water liquid as back flow condition. So here I need to mention the back flow volume fraction to be zero, I have given that. And then uh, you need to go to wall. And in the wall, the heat flux, the heat flux, we need to give the temperature as 320 Kelvin, go to thermal tab. In the thermal tab, go to temperature and give the temperature as 320 Kelvin. Click on OK. Then you need to go to dynamic mesh. And uh, before going further, just you go to read profile 
and use this as your profile file what I have shown here it is an angular motion with time as my const uh, parameters and omega y as my constraint so with respect to 0 and 1 second the omega or the angular uh, velocity is changing from 0 to 5 radians per second so this is a profile what I have given so you need to after uh, typing this in notepad you need to click create a file save as with a file name as dot prof so any file name you can give but with the extension of dot prof you need to save prof and after that you need to go to file read profile and go to that particular profile select and then click ok so then after you need to go to so tick the smoothing and remeshing options and in the settings go to remeshing tab in the mesh scale info try to copy all this mesh scale info into the parameters tab and then click the size remeshing interval as 1 and click ok so and then go to create it in the create edit you need to select this entire volume as deforming so this my volume my name is uh, fff3 solid so I have given that with the deforming as my option and then I need to go for evolve in the wall I have selected as a rigid body uh, already previously I have selected wall as my rigid body and my cell height as 1 mm adjacent cell height is 1 mm and the motion attributes so meshing options in the adjacent cell height is that the cell that is present just adjacent to the wall wall so wall wall what is the adjacent cell size that you need to mention here and in the motion attributes I have given that profile so in the drop down list you can see this angular motion and this is center of gravity of the wall which you can get it from space claim or design modeler and it will insert the value here then click on create and then close it so after that I will try to initialize go to initialize select click on initialize So after clicking on the initial we need to pass the entire uh, volume of the fluid with certain pressure. So I will try to pass the entire volume of the fluid with 11,000 Pascal. So it, it is initial at 11,000 Pascal and on of a sudden uh, we are supplying it with 1,49,000 Pascal at the inlet. So now what happens exactly to the water due to that raising pressure? We need to check it in the post processing. So I will just go to patch option and I will try to select the pressure value and I pass this pressure value onto this fluid with 11,000 Pascal and the temperature with 300 Kelvin onto this fluid. So yes, you need to select pressure, value, click on patch. Similarly, temperature 300 Jones to pass is this volume and click on patch. And you need to go for a phase 2 volume fraction which is water vapor volume fraction. Initially, there is no water vapor present. So click on water vapor volume fraction, declare the value as 0, click on patch, close. Then go to run calculation. I have selected my time step as 0 0.001. You can reduce the time step if there is any floating point exception because it is due to the high pressure range uh, rises value and the temperature changes. So you need to reduce the time step if you see any floating point exception. And the number of time steps I have selected is 1000. I will try to click on calculate. So now we will check how exactly the cavitation has been happening inside the pipeline. So I'll just click on volume, click OK, and I'll just go to ISO volume and my variable as my phase uh, 2, that is my water vapor. So I'll select as phase 2 volume fraction and the value I will maybe select which is less than 1 below value 1 and I will select the color as a variable color uh, with phase fraction value phase 2 volume fraction range local and I will render with uh, 0 0.7 
click on apply it will uh, take some time to render and uh, give a value I think uh, it has been rendered. I'll just zoom in it and I'll just remove the wireframe model. Now you can see how the volume fraction is been happening. Maybe I'll just uh, try to fraction value so this is the uh, vapor fraction what you can see that has been forming and I'll just uh, click on this wall and I'll turn that wall into phase 2 volume fraction can see everything is turning into red means like there's so much amount of vapor that is forming due to the decrease in pressure and uh, maybe we can go for a simple plane where we will uh, create the uh, fraction counter which would be much more uh, clear to us check this volume they'll go for a counter this will select a plane they'll go for phase to volume fraction local they'll go and apply so I think uh, it is evident, right? So how uh, the phase transformation occurring from liquid to vapor. So this states the vapor fraction. So there is more amount of fraction vapor that is forming at the edges compared to the center. Maybe we can have this with respect to time step uh, basis. I'll just go to time step animation. I have ran 239 time steps. We can check here how exactly it is getting varied. So initially uh, the valve is in this position now the valve is uh, rotating as it rotates uh, how exactly the variation would occur you can see on the screen it was uh, loading the time step so now the valve is rotated so it's it is rotating with an angular uh, velocity that is varying from uh, 0 to 5 radians per second with 0 to 1 second time step uh, time So as it is uh, rotating, you can see a light fraction of vapor that is being formed. So that fraction quantity would increase as uh, we progress with respect to time step. Maybe uh, for right, I can just stop this and I'll just uh, rotate it manually. I mean, not with respect to animation. So it requires uh, to stop the, continue the next step but in order to stop the animation. Oh. 
so I just move it in the forward direction so this is like a 98 current time step so now we can see more amount of fraction of water vapor can be absorbed inside the pipe so similarly these kind of cavitation problems would occur in pumps centrifugal or or uh, displacement pumps or any kind any kind of pumps so where there is a sudden drop in pressure which uh, makes the water liquid to turn into water vapor or any in case like any liquid to the vapor conditions so now we can see uh, more uh, vapor fraction is being absorbed here as we go to the final step there you can see huge fraction that would be occurring anyways uh, i'll attach the case file along with the profile uh, to the description you can uh, go through that and you can run on your own from your side and if you have any queries please do uh, comment in the comment section and please do subscribe the channel and encourage me in doing more number of uh, these kind of videos thank you